In January of 2016, I made a video about the reasons why it might be a good idea to rename Yandere Simulator. My primary concern was that the game's title could cause people to dismiss it as a joke game. In that video, I said things like, Yandere Simulator was always meant to be a dark and serious game, and Yandere Simulator is meant to be taken seriously. This exact choice of words created the wrong impression about my intentions for the game. Today, I'd like to clarify what I was trying to communicate. Yandere Simulator is a game with dark subject matter. It's about a stalker who is sabotaging a young man's love life. The protagonist is a dangerous person who is willing to do horrible things to achieve her goals. In the past, I've described the game as a horror game, where you play as the monster. However, I never meant to imply that the game would have a completely dark and scary atmosphere 100% of the time. Imagine a cute, girly visual novel about a boy who is being romanced by ten girls at school. But one of the background characters is killing all of the main characters when the protagonist isn't looking. That's the kind of vibe I'm going for. A cute dating sim gone wrong. That's why the environment is bright and peaceful, the characters are cheerful and friendly, and the user interface is soft and pink. If the player commits a lot of murders or abductions and never cleans up blood or corpses, they will spread terror and dread throughout the school. This will affect the game's visuals and the character's behavior, until the game has the atmosphere of a horror game. If the player eliminates all of their rivals in non-destructive ways, then the game will always look like a cute, girly visual novel. In other words, the player has complete control over the atmosphere of the game. It will be precisely as dark as the player makes it through their choices and actions. My goal is to create a genuinely good stealth game. A game with solid design, balanced mechanics, and lots of replayability. With that said, there are also whimsical things that were added just for fun like silly easter eggs, and some of the game's mechanics are based on anime tropes. When I said that the game is meant to be taken seriously, I wasn't trying to imply that it would be 100% serious at all times. I was trying to emphasize the fact that I'm trying to develop a real game, not a meme game with a few minutes of novelty value. Although there will be jokes in the game, it's not my goal to create a joke game. To summarize, my vision for the game isn't 100% dark and serious. It will have a cute side and a dark side, a serious side and a comedic side. In January of 2016, I proposed the idea of renaming the game to Lovesick. A lot of people have been asking me when or if I will actually change the game's title. I still think that it would be a good idea to rename Yandere Simulator and I still love the idea of calling it Lovesick. However, it's very difficult to pull the trigger and commit to this decision because of the risks of changing a brand name that lots of people already recognize. At this point, it's too early to make any promises, but if I do decide to rename the game, I'll probably keep Yandere Simulator in the name as a subtitle. On the topic of rebranding the game, there's something else I'd like to discuss. For a long time, I've wondered whether or not it would be a good idea to drastically change the game's visuals and atmosphere to shake off the appearance of being a joke game and make it far easier for people to take the game seriously. Some people might appreciate this, but other people might want the game to stay the way it is now. I've decided that the best solution would be to give people the option of choosing what kind of atmosphere they want the game to have. The idea is that when you launch the game, the game will ask you if you want to play Yandere Simulator or play Lovesick. In Lovesick, all debug commands, easter eggs, and memes are disabled. And the game has the atmosphere of a horror game. I'll show you what I mean. Here's Yandere Simulator. And here's Lovesick.
In Lovesick, every single screen of the game has been modified to have a much different look and feel. In some cases, this was as easy as changing the color scheme. But some screens are so cutesy and girly that just changing the colors wouldn't be enough. In these cases, the screen was completely redesigned. For example, the lovesick version of the Senpai Creation screen depicts Yandere-chan stalking a boy down a dark school corridor as the player customizes him into the senpai that they desire. In Yandere Simulator, the protagonist's home is meant to feel like a soothing, peaceful place. In Lovesick, the protagonist's home is meant to feel like the lair of a deranged killer. In Yandere Simulator, the school's atmosphere changes based on the player's actions. In Lovesick, the school's atmosphere is permanently as low as possible. I've heard a number of people complain that they can't take the game seriously because some of the character names are obvious jokes or puns. Perhaps in Lovesick, all joke names would be replaced with more realistic and believable names. If the majority of people feel that a black and red color scheme is too edgy, then I could always use a different color scheme for Lovesick mode, such as magenta and dark blue. There's a part of me that wonders if it might be appropriate if the character models in Lovesick were less cartoony and more realistic. However, it would cost a ridiculous amount of time and money to create an entirely new set of character models and hairstyles and accessories and so forth. So this isn't very likely to happen. You might choose to play Lovesick mode because you want to know how the game will feel without the ability to use debug commands. Or, perhaps you want the game to be darker and more serious. Or, perhaps you just want to experience Yandere Sim with a different coat of paint. Either way, the option is available. If nobody likes it, I can always take it out, or turn it into an easter egg that you have to unlock. It's possible that some aspects of lovesick mode, like the removal of joke names, might be made into an option in the game's settings menu so that you can change or remove the aspects of the game that are preventing you from enjoying it. On that subject, for a long time now, I've heard people request a way to pay for InfoChan's services without taking panty shots. In the latest build of the game, there is now another way to earn favors from InfoChan. As her name implies, InfoChan's specialty is gathering and selling information. She values a person's secrets far more than a photo of their panties. I can think of multiple ways that Yandere-chan can discover a person's secrets, but for now, she will collect information using covert listening devices, also known as bugs. The idea is to place bugs around school in places where students will have private conversations. At this point in time, the feature is very bare bones. You will have to locate each spot where a bug should be placed using your knowledge of locations where students or important characters will be talking. In the future, InfoChan should explicitly tell you exactly when and where to place bugs in order to record the specific information she needs, and you should have to retrieve the bugs after they have recorded a conversation. This should make the feature more interesting and challenging. I've also got another idea for how the player could earn favors from InfoChan helping her acquire blackmail. To blackmail the student, InfoChan would need a photo of that student misbehaving. For example, a photo of Musume smoking cigarettes behind the school. Perhaps the player will get requests directly from InfoChan. Or, perhaps the player should have to look for clues in a student's profile and figure it out for themselves. For example, if Ryuto's profile says that he tells his parents he studies in the library in his spare time, but you always see him playing video games in the computer lab, you could take a photo of him there, send it to InfoChan, and then she would blackmail Ryuto by threatening to send the photo to his parents. This is one potential way to earn favors from InfoChan without sticking your camera up anyone's skirt. I hope that this video has clarified my intentions for Yandere Simulator's tone. If the tone I want isn't what you want, I hope that lovesick mode will satisfy you. 
and if there's anything else that prevents you from enjoying the game, rest assured that I can always give you other options. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.